are in the sunny West Brom, the black country. There's, that was where the Millwall fans were. Um, after Cardiff, which you're not going to go on too much about, Millwall needed a big performance. We needed something where we um, we got our teeth into, and we and let's let's have it right. We defended today so well, so well. You've got Ryan Leonard here today has been absolutely immense. I mean, I'm sitting in the boxes as we see to one box next door, and all they even said was one is should have been on the pitch. But our man Leonard, different level. Cooper, Tintanga, he's always going to be different level. The keeper's had a blinder. Um, Danny McNamara was a good change. Good change. Because I thought after Tuesday, we looked tired. We looked very, very tired. And I think Anna's done us a disconcern of thinking that Cardiff, minus five, sorry, minus 15 goal difference, you're just going to turn up there and roll them over. You're not. I was part of the uh, Cardiff carnage, as the ones that then <laughs> I wanted to just get over it. I think our midfield was solid. Denora, Denora, Denora and Savile, they bossed that midfield. Even the West Brom fans, I tell you, they bossed it. They did not get an inch on the ball. Roman Essie, today, you really... You're outclassed by people that, if, we, if you're going to be a great player and you're going to be so successful, then you're, you've got to be better. And these are the games that you own your stripes, isn't it? You know, Nick, own your stripes? Games like this? Yeah, you, you own your stripes. Because as a mere Wall fan today, all we did was do well from midfield backwards. Midfield backwards and defensively midfield backwards. West Brom were a good side. They were very good, but they weren't penetrating. And that's only because of our back line. Langstaff had a tireless game. Aziz, as you know, Aziz. the jury's out. He had, he had a chance at the back post. First off, he's got to put that chance away. He has to put that chance away. Regardless of whether we deserve it or not, that goes in, Millwall 1-0 up at half time. Half time. West Brom again came out, came at us. How many times can we let teams come at us and not crank to the point where we don't we don't create nothing? Honeyman, I, I honestly don't know what role you're playing and what you're doing in the team at the moment because you offer nothing, to be completely honest. Lang Langstop, obviously the jury's out, the big sir, if fuck you. You know he's about. We're on the ground at the moment, Millwall. We're, we're at a tipping point because uh, when we went into the Cardiff game, I really thought that we were going to win Cardiff, get a draw here, and be somewhere near the top six. We're not. I don't think Millwall are going to go. Look at these grounds, man. It's different level, aren't they? Different level. I don't think we're going to go down, but I don't think we're going to pull trees up either. We're going to a nice international break now, and. Where did we go from here? Because we were we had two really good chances to win this game and we did not take either. We didn't take either chance. But that's me all over. I mean, yeah, you could say West Brom, two losers on the bounce, this could be the third. No. Sixteen hundred or whatever it turned up in a bank of mill. That's off to you. Cardiff to me was the defining moment of the season because I can't understand why we played that bad for so long against a team that had let in with a minus 15 goal difference. It's only the hospitality of the Welsh that really fucking got me through that day and beyond. I don't know where me will go from here, but if you're going to take a positive from a negative from, from CDM back, superb. You can't just say... Me your players are good because the, they score goals and the forward do you've got to commend the defenders and the goalkeeper and we've done superb that lawnmower's on overtime but if this is great to see show them something lawnmower that's the nearest we got to the goal look let's get over the line <laughs>
Yes! <laughs> we are um, Bimir Wong. We love ourselves. We love, we love, I love us. I love us. I love this performance. I love the Millwall way. But I would love to see a little bit more creativity. Until next week, until the Indian, until the box, till we fight. Go, you life, man!